pattern with a mine flail. A mine flail consists of heavy chains connected to heavy steel bits at the end, all connected to a rotating rotor system. The rotor's rotation makes the flails pound into the ground. The force of a flail strike above a buried mine mimics the weight of a person or vehicle and causes the mine to detonate. This is the strange but effective German Keiler mine clearing vehicle. It's built using an M48 patent tank chassis, which West Germany acquired about 300 of following World War II. It replaces the turret of the pattern with a mine flail. A mine flail consists of heavy chains connected to heavy steel bits at the end, all connected to a rotating rotor system. The rotor's rotation makes the flails pound into the ground. The force of a flail strike above a buried mine mimics the weight of a person or vehicle and causes the mine to detonate. This is the strange but effective German Keiler mine clearing vehicle. It's built using an M48 patent tank chassis, which West Germany acquired about 300 of following World War II. It replaces the turret of the pattern with a mine flail. A mine flail consists of heavy chains connected to heavy steel bits at the end, all connected to a rotating rotor system. The rotor's rotation makes the flails pound into the ground. The force of a flail strike above a buried mine mimics the weight of a person or vehicle and causes the mine to detonate. This is the strange but effective German Keiler mine clearing vehicle. It's built using an M48 patent tank chassis, which West Germany acquired about 300 of following World War II. It replaces the turret of the pattern with a mine flail. A mine flail consists of heavy chains connected to heavy steel bits at the end, all connected to a rotating rotor system. The rotor's rotation makes the flails pound into the ground. The force of a flail strike above a buried mine mimics the weight of a person or vehicle and causes the mine to detonate. This is the strange but effective German Keiler mine clearing.